Welcome, welcome to another episode of Turtley Wild. Today we're going to be talking about Malaysian box turtles. These videos always get a lot of uh, views, so I'm going to make another one. This one's just a short one, just talking about winter time and hibernation. Now, these don't hibernate. You don't want them to get too cold. They will get respiratory infections and, and have issues. Especially these are from Indonesia. If you got Indonesian, Philippines, you want to keep those guys warm. I've got friends in China that would get them and keep them outside in southern China where it, I mean, it, it's dropping down coldest maybe in the 40s at night. And that's only a few times in the winter, but it was enough that a lot of those Indonesian and Philippine animals got sick and died. Now, if you've got like Vietnam, uh, Myanmar type animals, the Lineata, they can handle cooler weather. When we were in Anfal up in Manipur, it was 800 meters in the wintertime in December. And we went to a zoo. You can see that in the picture. And you've got these animals that are just hunkered down. But the keeper said that it only lasts a couple days. And then they come out and they eat. And you can see one here. It's eating. It's out. So it really just depends on um, where they come from. But even, even in that 800 meter elevation, they're not hibernating, truly hibernating. They're coming out every couple of days when it warms up and eating. And the same thing with these. We get temperatures a little bit cooler here in the winter, right? This water here is now, yeah, 68.78 degrees. And typically in the summer, this is upper 70s. So it's a little cooler now. We don't feed them as much just because, you know, they're slowing down. They don't need to eat as lot. But they're obviously not hibernating because they're still active every day. And they'll come out and bask when it's sunny. Today it's cloudy. They'll come out and bask. So the take-home message is, if you have these, yes, they can cool down in the winter. It's okay, but that's a relatively... You don't want to... I want to say cool down. They can get a little cooler, right? You really don't want it getting below 60s at night for these. That's, that's going to be, in my experience, too cold. They're going to start getting sick. These, that temperature you know, upper 60s in the water, and they do fine. And then we also don't have any hot water in this greenhouse. So that water in the winter is like 55 degrees, and you don't want to dump all this water out and then fill it with 55 degree water. So we don't want to do a lot of cleanings because that temperature shock can really cause a lot of issues with health issues with them. So what we typically do is just drain it halfway, put the plug back in, and then fill it up the other half of that cooler water and it's not so much of a shock to them. And like I said, we've had these three years and they're perfectly healthy and doing well. We get eggs out of them every year. All right, well, that's about it. I just wanted to give you a quick update on what these do in the winter. Like I said, that's up to you. If you got them in a controlled environment and it's warm all year round, then feed them like normal. If you got them someplace where it's a little cooler, where the temperature changes, it gets a little cool in the winter, you don't have to feed them as much. And we feed them once a week, and I've gone two weeks without feeding them, and they're perfectly fine. They don't, they're not really any lighter in the spring than they were when they got a little cooler in the fall. All right, so there's, you know, the big thing I always try to drive home is do what works for you. Yes, there's basic care. You need to have water for these. You need to have a basking spot for them. You need to feed them a good, varied diet. But outside of that, you know, how you keep them, you might do things different than we do, and you probably do. Everybody does things different, and that's okay. If that works for you and your animals are healthy, then do it. All right? If you want to try something different, that's great too. But, you know, I hear people say, you, you got to keep them this way to breed them. No, I've seen enough in China to know that all that stuff, you got to do it this way or that way, is not true. Because people in China keep things way different than we do here, and they have a lot of success there as well. So don't be afraid to try some new things and share which ways are you keeping them. Or if you've ever seen them hibernate where they get really cold, talking about like in the 40s, and they, they're okay, then, then let me know. I know the ones in the Indian Ambos can handle that cooler weather, but the Indonesian, the Philippines, in my experience, they don't do well when that temperature dips below in the 60s. All right, I hope you'll have a good day, and see you all next time.